today, we're going to learn how to draw cougar cubs. Let's get started. All right. So, first thing we're going to need is a pencil and an eraser. So, when drawing figures sometimes, especially animals, it's sometimes good to start from the biggest parts of the body. Let's say the this part, like the actual body, and then the legs and then the head. So we're actually gonna work on the body first and then move out towards all the other parts of our cougar cub. So the first thing that we're gonna draw is the back. And just like a lot of cats, big cats, small cats, their spine curves a little bit and it's because they're just a really kind of flexible animal. So we're gonna draw a nice curved line, swooping down and then back up. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue that line down to this bottom left corner to draw the tail. Think of it as like a big water slide. Next, we're gonna draw the hind leg. The hind leg has lots of different curves and movement and joints in that leg, or the, you can call it the hind leg, or you can call it the back leg. And it's shaped in a really interesting design. And the reason why it's shaped like this design is for jumping and running really fast. And because cougars and lots of big cats have a lot of power in their legs. So we're gonna start off by Drawing a curve right off of this tail, and then two diagonal lines. One, two. Next, we're going to draw the bottom of the paw with a nice horizontal line, and then a nice curve for that paw. You want to make that paw somewhat big because lots of you know big cats have pretty big paws for you know catching things climbing when they're trying to catch their prey next we're going to finish off the hind leg by drawing another curved line very similar to this back line now you almost want to think of like a question mark design nice curve with kind of a then straightening out a little bit at the end Just like that. Now we're going to draw that round tummy. Cougar cubs, any kind of cub or, you know, puppies, babies generally have a pretty big tummy because they carry a lot of fat and they need that fat to grow up big and strong. Next we're going to draw a capital letter L for a front leg. Again, a nice curve for that paw. You want to make it around the same size as this paw. And then I want to curve back up to finish off that leg. You can add some details in the paws by drawing some curved lines for the toes. And then a nice curved line up here for that powerful chest. All right. That's pretty much the cougar cub body right there. The next step is going to be designing the cougar cub head. So generally the head is a pretty round type shape, like a circle. So what we're gonna do is we're first going to draw lightly a circle as best as we can. Notice how I drew it a little lighter than everything else. Next we're gonna add some ears on the top. Think of a triangle shape for the ears. Then we're gonna draw the same shape right inside of that ear 
just so that you can see the inside of that ear. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start designing the mouth. And the mouth actually sticks out a little bit below the circle head. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase a little bit down here. That way we have some room. So we're going to draw a U shape right here. And then, very similar to like a W shape, or like two U's, one, two. Connected to this mouth and that bottom of the mouth, which is like the chin of our cougar cub, we're gonna draw the nose Think of the nose as a heart shape, very similar to a heart shape, or as if you had a heart and you squished it a little bit. So we're gonna start off with two diagonal lines, and then two curves on top. Now we're gonna finish off that nose by drawing two more lines right above it. And that's what's called the bridge of the nose, that long part of the nose. We can also draw some nostrils, some half circles for nostrils. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to attach two circles to these lines right here that we call the bridge of the nose. One, two, and then we're gonna draw two more circles inside for the pupil. All right, I'm gonna draw some smaller circles in the inside for the little shine for the eye. Some whiskers, do like four on each side, two, three, four. And now what we can do is start adding some details. So our cougar cubs have lots of spots. They have a, a black color on the tip of their tail. They have a little line right here on their forehead. I'm gonna color the insides of the ears. So we'll start off over here for the tail. I'll draw a nice curved line over here. And then eventually I'm gonna color that in all black. Make some more spots. And when you draw these spots, you can kind of draw them wherever you want, whatever kind of shapes. They're not really a specific shape. Some of them are circular. Some of them have a more organic shape, just kind of blobby type shapes. It's interesting because when they grow up, they lose their spots. Kind of like the opposite of cheetah cubs where cheetah cubs don't have any spots and then when they get older, they do get spots. I've noticed that they tend not to have any spots on that underbelly right here. It tends to be all white. And then also in their paws, they don't really tend to have too many spots down there either. So I'm gonna draw a little line here. They usually have a little black line on their forehead. Then I'll draw some more spots, some smaller ones. And eventually I'll color that in. All right, so now I could pretty much uh, add some details in, the, in my background. If I wanted to add a background, I could add a landscape, maybe a hilly landscape with some trees. For my trees, I like to do this technique where I draw two curves two curved lines, 
and then I draw the letter V right on the inside. And then I draw like a nice bushy type shape right on the top with these curves. Draw some more curves on the inside. Maybe I can draw a nice river over here, nice little stream. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over all of my pencil lines and marker, and then I'm just gonna add a bunch of color to really bring this to life. There you have it, Cougar Cub. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.